Here we place the turmeric root and the ginger root into the mason jar along with some maca tea and we're going to go ahead and pour some boiling water over it. So um, this is the sort of more finished product. Um, I pour boiling water over these little strips that I'm cutting of the turmeric root and the ginger root and then uh, set it out to cool and this has been sitting out on the porch for I don't know like six hours and I don't know if you can see but it's really um, it's got a lot of the essence of the turmeric and the ginger and like I said there's something about making it fresh out of the fresh roots that is changing the inflammation that I have in my sinuses and other uh, my chronic lymphatic wound that I have on my ankle that I suffered about 11 years ago when I fell uh, over a dog and so just about I don't know maybe six weeks I've been making this and I put two tea bags with maca tea and then uh, right now I have some chamomile tea so I'm putting one bag of the chamomile in there and for some reason, this combination is really, really helping my sinuses, like in a way that nothing else has. Now, I'm still using the uh, steroidal sprays, such as Flonase and Allerflow, which they're probably about the same, but I'm still using those. And you're only supposed to use them once a day, but in the one sinus uh, that I have a really hard time getting air through, I'm using them a couple times a day. I was doing that before I started doing this tea, and it helped a little bit. And I'm also, I've also continued using the uh, CBD. This, this brand is what I try to get, the Super CBD relief and I take that in the morning first thing under my tongue and then once in the middle of the day and once before I go to bed and that is also helping but I was also using this before I started doing this fresh turmeric root and fresh ginger root tea and once I started doing that, it really, really started to make a difference. And at first I was like, what? Is this for real? And I use, I will pour this off into a bowl tomorrow and strain it. And then I will pour boiling water over it again. And this week I did it five times. And by the fifth time, it wasn't extruding the the elements of the roots as much it was more clear and I noticed that I was having more trouble with my sinuses now if I had a masher something that would fit into this quart mason jar that I could kind of smush everything down better I think I would get more out of it I hope so I'm going to try to find something that has that will fit in there that I can use to kind of crush it more because I'd like to get more out of it. The stuff, it's not real expensive, but it's cutting it in the little strips takes a lot of time. So the more generations I can get out of it, the happier I'm gonna be. So anyway, I'm just still experimenting with it, but it's really changed for the better the amount of inflammation that I have in my sinuses. This is after the root mixture along with the tea has had boiling water poured over it and it sat out on the porch at winter refrigerator type temperatures overnight. And this is the finished product, the tea with a little bit of mint sprigs in it. Um, I've added honey and stevia to sweeten it.